Can we figure out these color illusions? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You know how when rotisserie chickens are under that red heat lamp to keep it warm, it makes the whole chicken look red instead of brown? Mm, yes, I do. Please tell me that you have one. I don't, but I do have a new term for you. Okay. That phenomenon is called color subtraction. Okay, great, I'd rather have the chicken. I don't have a chicken. I've got color subtraction. Okay, cool. When you put items under a colored light, it can block out parts of the original color, changing how our eyes perceive it. So if I'm wearing a fly red suit to a club and I walk under some blue light, mm. it would change my whole look. Uh, I know you don't go to clubs and you don't really use the term fly, but yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. So how about a game that puts the fun in color phenomenon? It's time for, if magic isn't real, then why does this color look like another color? Explain that, science! Okay, boys, today you'll be shown a series of differently colored items underneath a colored light, which will change the way you perceive those colors. Even a chicken? I will prompt you to name the item that is a specific color under normal light. Okay. Points escalate each round, and the winner gets special close-ups of their magically talented eyes and good mythical more. I guess we'll find out what that means. Huh. Wow. We're gonna start simple. Uh, and can then we at least gonna... pipe in the smell of rotisserie chicken? Yes. Yeah, we are. For everyone at home as well, uh, we're gonna escalate your visual prompts along with your points. And first up, we have multicolored golf balls under a red light. Your job is to tell me which one is blue. What is the application for this? Which one is blue? Like, what is the real world application for this? Is this a race? No. Nope, you're gonna write down on your whiteboards. Really give it a think. Under a red light, which one is blue? Well, yellow and blue make green. They all There's look nothing to do somewhat with red. red to me. I mean, three of them look what I would call white, because I know it's a red light. Uh, but the, actually, E, I see a little bit of color. To me, there's two that it could be, and okay. I don't know how to land on which one I think. Just write them both down. Okay. Put one in, put, put your second choice underneath your first choice smaller. Okay. And it won't count, but at least, you know. Okay. All right. I thought it was B with the uh, honorable mention to A. Interesting, I thought it was A with an honorable mention to E. Oh. See, E looks purple to me. So you both chose, like it's not like you chose similar ones within your set. You both chose well, we like both two chose completely a. different ones. Yeah, 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 exactly. We both chose one that was dark and one that was light. And so I was like, is the blue gonna get darker or is it gonna not get darker? The blue ball huh? is B. Here's what yes. it looks like. Yes, whoa, whoa. I did it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And E is also blue. Hold on. Well, it's cyan, which I had to Google, uh, which is in between okay. blue and green, but but we're looking for the blue, which is B. Oh, look at that. And um, I, was, I, is, I agree with that. Let me tell you why, and then tell me if you understand what I'm saying. Red okay. light only allows for reds to be reflected, so colors with no red in them, like green and blue, have their color subtracted to a near black. Okay. So if it has the color in it that's being shined on it, it gets a little lighter. Well, this is only, this is red light. Now we're gonna move on to a different light. So okay. maybe what I said applies, and maybe it doesn't. I don't understand what you said. It's fine. Okay. You know, the people who want me to say stuff will really like that line. Um, okay, of course, from golf balls to mannequin feet, oh, and mannequin this time balls. under a blue light. Oh, sexy. Which one is yellow? <laughs> Which one is yellow? This so, sucks, man. Under no, this is great because I'm I'm winning. Um, which one is yellow? Yes. Uh huh. Which one is yellow? Okay. That's a cool looking mannequin foot. Did you put a second guess? Nope. I have full confidence. 
Actually, no, just because my second guess would not be of any consequence. Oh. Okay, be careful now. All right. I said B. And with I said E. With a little bit of F. See, I can actually see the brownish, yellowish in B. That's why I chose it. But that's it. why I didn't choose it, because that didn't apply last time. Okay. Well, Good. let's turn on the lights. The answer is B. Dang, you got, you have, you've got the gift. Yes, Blake. man, I have the gift of, what was that gift called? <laughs> Uh, color C or okay, so that worked differently because I saw like a brownishness in blue in B, and I was like, that looks like the one that it makes sense to be. So I'm gonna choose the one that makes the least sense to me. Oh, so gosh. I want to bite those feet. Is that you want to do what? buy them? I want to bite them? them with my teeth. Oh, something about them. Are they foamy? I think they're just like plastic. They're, they're hard. Plastic. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to bite them anymore. Um, similar to red light. Blue light only allows for blues to be reflected. So a color like yellow that's made up of red and green light <laughs> is tougher to find due to all of its color being subtracted. Right, right. Okay. Okay, I have been told that the Mythical Crew has spiced up the next rounds with some, like, video intros. Okay. Uh, so here's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, he is still very much a white boy. Hey, all I gotta say is, y'all gonna keep showing that video. That's the part I'm most impressed by. <laughs> the edit's great, too. Yeah. Um, so Caucasian. the connection is that you submitted a VHS tape, maybe, and these are VHS yeah, tapes. That was a VHS C. Uh, and they're under green light. Which one is magenta? What is magenta? Pur like a, like a pinkish, pinkish purple. Pinkish purple. Pinkish purple. This is this is where you're gonna lose me. Cause I've been I've been tracking so far. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. I think it's C. Ah, dang it. Yes. That's what I yes. said. Yes. Okay, let's turn on the lights. The answer is D. Oh, that's magenta? Wow. See, I was thinking, what I'm seeing now as and for C is what I thought magenta was. I think that's just blue. This is like royal blue. Go okay. now, now go back. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, go back to the dancing is exactly what I meant. What was the what was that move? It was like cover the nipple, cover the nipple, touch your shoulder, touch the shoulder. Like it's just like nipple doors. Nipple door, nipple door, shoulder door, shoulder door. All I know is if lots of people have pointed out, they're like, I can see where his current dancing comes from, but he cannot he cannot recreate right. that. I was like, yes, uh You just not you don't have the physical ability. That's what twenty five years will do to you. Uh so yeah, do you know why this is the case that, that Because Green light. Green colors, green light causes colors to turn brown. That is not what I've said for the past two rounds. When the green light shines on colors that don't have any green in them, like a black or a red, then it turns a VHH. VHH. It made it magenta. It made it the darkest. Dark. Yeah, green light only reflects greens. So basically what you said was true, but I will say red, green, and blue light are the only ones of their kind, so you might not see the same things happening for the next round. So we've exhausted the ones that do that. Yeah, I am maybe. pretty exhausted. That reflect their own kind of light. Yeah, exactly. All right, what quick a plug. Um, not only can you watch the entire footage of uh, you trying to get on the real world Unfiltered. on the Mythical Society. But it's that time of year again where we do a little fun excursion with Stevie. We went to Universal Studios Halloween Horror Nights. Woo and we got our britches scared off of us. So multiple mazes. We had an amazing uh, Halloween themed taste test there. And um, it was scary. It was, um, it, we suffered. Also, for your entertainment, 
Yeah, I'm I talking can about barely me and talk by the end of it though, screaming so much. Um, so and also trying to yell at y'all. That's coming out in a week. Uh, it debuts on October 30th, so like right on the precipice of Halloween. We made it available for first, second, and third degree. Go to mythicalsociety.com and get ready for that. Okay. Um, there's another video intro here, so just let's 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 all prepare ourselves. Oh. Oh, it's the doggies. This is better. <laughs> those doggies. Sean's like, uh, what are we doing here? What is this again? I did not read the email. Okay, these Doggy dog bones. bones, that's the connection, are under yellow light. Which one is green? Yellow light. Yellow light. Yellow. <laughs> yellow light, man. Which one is green? Okay. I feel like my whole world is gonna be turned upside down if I'm not right. The one thing that I do know is that it's not D. I think it's D. I think it's A, because yellow and blue make green. So yellow, yellow and green and Yellow make and green blue. make green or green? No, yellow make, and, make slightly yellow, yellow green. and blue make green. Yellow and green make blue. Okay, let's turn on the lights. The answer is D. No! Okay, contrary to one, what one might think. <laughs> Me one, I'm the one? <laughs> yellow light is actually made up of a combination of red and green light. So items with reds or greens in them will reflect. The magenta and orange dog bones reflect red, the blue dog bone gets subtracted, and the green and cyan dog bones both reflect green, making you question which is which. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm questioning a lot right now. I'm also questioning how I can be in the lead, but it's because points escalate. Dang it, son. Okay, well that video wasn't so bad, so I'm sure this one will be fine. Uh, uh, uh. Who was that? It was a beardless man. Here's okay. some beards. Okay, fake beards under magenta light. Magenta. Which yeah. one is cyan? which, as stated, is that kind of blue color with a little bit of green in it. So, okay, this I don't is know under what, what cyan and magenta We're looking are. for magenta under what color No, light? no, it's under magenta light, and you're looking for cyan. And the way magenta is spelled, I just wanna say magenta. So <laughs> the that color that correct. I see of this background is magenta. Magenta, yes. And Sounds like a, like a Yiddish grandma name. How could it go pink? There's so many pink options here. Oh, oh gosh. I uh, don't feel great about this. All right, what? I had to go with B, because uh, it was only B was one my second choice. Look different, you know? Three pinks, two blues. Let's turn on the lights. The answer is E. 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 Neither one of us got it. Wow, okay. So, <clears throat> okay, now I'll turn it back on. C, E. Wow, okay. So C and E look both pretty blue and then turn it off again? And they're still blue. That's yeah. because magenta, magenta is a combination of red and blue light. Reds and blues will show through, but your perception of them will be somewhat warped. Cyan is made of blue and green, so the blue in it will reflect, but the green will not, making it tougher to distinguish from the solid blue. Uh, if I were smarter. I don't know why I chose C. And I were was younger, and my thinker could think harder, then I would have understood that, maybe. Would have understood. Comment below and just say, I understood it. Okay, or not. Okay, uh, here's another video. Hello, there's me. There's me. There's me. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> What is that about? It's just me doing things, man. Just me being me. Couldn't find anything incriminating with me. <laughs> I haven't done anything incriminating That's or right. compromising on the internet. Thank you. These <laughs> handsome links are under cyan, cyan light. It should be cyan. Uh, which has blue, which one has blue, not cyan? 
but blue eyes. Okay. The thing that's confusing to me is that this is a picture of me. Good gosh. I feel like this one's easy. First of all, it's crazy how different I look with the different color eyes. Like, it feels like it changes the shape of my face. Like, A, I just look, dis I look like an alien, but I, I mean, I look five pounds heavier. Do I not? It's just because we're watching this on a TV. But then C, <laughs> C, my eyes are closer together. No, they're not, man. And then E, I'm like 10 years older. I think you're seeing things. I think you're just seeing things. Are they? It's wild, man. It's wild, man. This one counts, man. This one counts. This is it. This is it, right? This is for all the marbles. Yes, it's worth everything. All right, I'm gonna change my answer. I'm going with D. That's what I did, but I had B small. That's what I was thinking. Let's turn on the lights. The answer is C. Oh! Oh, because the D is, our, is just cyan. Yep. Under cyan light, <clears throat> only cyan blues and greens show through. Due to this, yellow and green reflect green, cyan reflects cyan, and magenta and blue reflect blue almost exactly the same way and become much harder to distinguish from one another. I don't have a soul in C. I'm like a dead inside. And I said that this was worth a lot, and it is. It is, but it really was just a tease and a build up because there's another round. Oh, oh God. thank yeah. God. And we, yeah, so uh, now here is that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Falling image versus Keanu Trial. I made during Good Mythic Game, it cannot be played on YouTube. What? <laughs> that's, that's your bed. I'm questioning the mechanics here and we can discuss it later. <laughs> what color are we looking for These here? These are different colored shoes and they're under red light and you're looking for the green shoe. Oh crap, if we had just listened, <laughs> if we had paid attention to the first round. I'm glad you're confused too. Green, they're so, I mean, they're so close together. Okay, I think it's C. Yeah, it was either C or B because they look so similar, but I went with a B. Let's turn on the lights, the answer is B. Whoa! You should know. Um, yeah, because red light effectively blocks out colors that do not contain red, making the green shoe tougher, but not impossible to find as you dem demonstrated. Um, and you win. A uh, close-up of your eyes that are gonna be magical, and and also we get to see a lot of blues and get a mythical more. Man, I'm so excited about whatever that is that might be. Rhett, why are your shoes stuck in your mattress? <laughs> oh, I'm just uh, I'm testing out the flexibility of the soles. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking the bell. You know what time it is. I'm Jared. And I'm Maria, and we're from Boston, Massachusetts. And we just picked out our skin walls. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a trend now. Yeah. Kind of? Uh, yeah. Well, they did they it. They made it a trend. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us match color names to a bunch of shades of blue. We can pick them all. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. We went to Halloween Horror Nights with Stevie. You can watch it on the Mythical Society on October 30th. Available first, second, and third degree.